Ladies and gentlemen, on his way to the ring, he is accompanied by his manager, Dr. Feelbad. This is Jay Diesel. And his opponent, true talent, Bobby Shields. And we are back yet again for more DCW TV, Dark Horse Championship Wrestling. In your living room, sitting down, cracking open a soda pop. Having some chips. Having some chips. You got, chi you got dip? I do. French right. and onion, my favorite. There we go. Jay Diesel and True Talent Bobby Shields starting off this show. Oh, Bobby Shields fired a couple shots in there. And ever since we saw Jay Diesel lose his first match here in DCW against the unpredictable Joker, he hasn't quite been the same. That is true. That that it's been different to say the least for Jay Diesel. I was trying to think of a word that wouldn't have Dr. Feelbad coming after me in the parking <laughs> lot. Uh, his client, in all fairness, mm -hmm. uh, lost. Uh, Joker defeated him, and I don't want to say he, he looks a little bit different, but he looks frazzled, shall we say. Maybe, ugh. Beautiful dive out there by Bobby Shields. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not the same look of confidence bordering on cockiness that we saw before. Maybe a, a, a little more concerned. And you'd have to think, and well, I was going to say you'd um, have to. Dr. Feelbad grabbing the foot of Bobby Shield, stopping him from getting all the way back in the ring. I was going to say you'd have to think he's going to have something up his sleeve, and, and well, that was it right there. And let's uh, talk about this match. True talent, Bobby Shields, uh, been up and down the East Coast, uh, was actually on WWE SmackDown as yes, well. Yes, was. Uh, so no stranger to com uh, competitors, uh, big and small, all shapes and sizes. Uh, been a pro now for about uh, 10, 12 years. And, and well, and look at Dr. F uh, Dr. Feelbad was scheming, but he knew that, that the referee w was on his way. And, and Bobby Shields really wants to, to get some momentum going, wants to really make a name for himself. And what better way to do that than taking on Jay Diesel? That's right. That's that's the way to impress you. Pick one of the big dogs. And we had seen Joker do just that the last time we saw Jay Diesel. All right to the bottom of the spine there with that kick. Well, and and uh, you can hear the DCW faithful uh, not such kind words. No, for Diesel. No, they are they are not. Uh, the majority not Jay Diesel fans, not Dr. Feelbad fans. The D does not stand for Diesel in uh, DCW. It does stand for Dark Horse, Dark Horse Championship Wrestling. Search us out on Facebook or go to darkhorsewrestling.com for all your information. You might even see us on there. Well, you'll be able to see the, hear the show or watch the show rather than hear us on there. I was told they had to take my picture off there as it... Uh crash the website. Uh, the divorce rate did go up, actually, when your picture had gone up. Uh, I did hear that rumor. No, I actually meant that the website crashed itself because my oh, picture was up there. Oh. It wasn't because of the hits. Well, I was... The divorce was, rate did go up, unfortunately. Mine was in there. My condolences. Or congratulations, depending on how you look at it. That's right. And that was a beautiful right hand there, Rock J. Diesel, but... But Jay Diesel's a power guy. You're not going to find Jay Diesel having a cheat day. You're not going to find no. him taking it light in the weight room. 
you might see Dr. Fuba taking it light in the weight room, but I, well, I don't know if he's the workout partner or motivator. I would guess motivator. Dr. Dr. Philbite doesn't have to be in the ring. That is true. He, he doesn't just, have to be in ring shape. He just has to have his negotiations in order. He has to have his brain in order. He has to have his strategy together for Jay Diesel. And I'll give him credit. Up until that, that hiccup with Joker, he's done just that. Diesel's defeated everybody that's come across. And Bobby Shields up on that top rope, coming into the inside. What's JD's looking for here? Look at that power, BC. And could he electric chair, perhaps? And that's exactly what he was going for there. This could be it. One, two, and no. Oh, a kick out on that, but I'm still impressed by that. Just pure power taking him from the top rope and walked out of the corner with him. No effort at all on the part of Jay Diesel. It's just pure muscle. And now he's John with the referee. That could cost him. That could cost him. And I'll tell you, the loser share of the purse, uh, he's probably given 90% of that to Dr. Feelbad anyway. Well, he's going to lose that other 10%. Close line, Bobby Shields gaining some momentum now. Catches Jay Diesel, Diesel in the opposite corner, and Bobby Shields getting fired up. Goes across and catches him flush. And I'll tell you, if, if Jay Diesel isn't careful here, he's going to have another L in the column there. Sit out, suplex there, one, two. What are you thinking right now if you're Dr. Feelbad? Having been on the losing end last I, time on this program. At this point, I might be in a little bit of a panic mode. I mean, I don't know the contractual situation or obligations here, but if Jay Diesel, beautiful spine buster there, if Jay Diesel can't get it taken care of, well, Dr. Philbat thought that was three. Clearly referee Dave Dawson did not. No, he, no, he didn't, he didn't catch that. That was two or dos for the Spanish speaking audience. Look at you, bilingual, I did not know that. I speak a lot of words. And there again, the power of J.D. Diesel puts Bobby Shields up there, but and Shields he, fights out. And he went for it twice, made a mistake there. And uh, sit out there, and wait a minute. That's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, true talent, Bobby Shields. And Jay Diesel going ballistic on referee Dave Dawson, pushes him. Oh, it's a super kick. And, and that's two now that we've seen for Jay Diesel. And feel bad does not look happy. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashton Amherst, along with Niles Young. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Ashton Amherst. Everybody knows who your guest at this time is. You see, I've been sitting in the back for a while after I outsmarted Haas Haygood in the middle of the ring and proved that not only am I the most handsome, maybe the second most handsome man in Oil City. It's a tie. We'll call it a tie. We're going to call it a tie. But what I proved is Haas is just as stupid as each and every one of these people are. And to go with our good looks, we got a lot of smarts. And that's why tonight we are walking out the DCW heavyweight champion. You see, shut up. You see, not only am I a great wrestler, but as this proves, I am a bona fide movie star. Pro Wrestlers versus Zombies is all about Ashton Amherst. 
it's all about me, and I'm the best thing going today, and that's why I am going to call Niles in as a pinch hitter tonight. You see, when you're, when you're out promoting a movie, you can't risk being hurt in front of you retards in Oil City. So tonight, Niles will become the DCW Heavyweight Champion as my very handsome stunt double. And the first family of filth will once again rule DCW because we're not lucky, we're just that good. You can have this back now. Well, the, well, this is one fall for the DCW Heavyweight Championship, and I guess as the pinch hitter for Ashton Amherst, we have the Italian Stallion, Niles Young. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, here is Hoss Hagen! BC Steel, I have seen a lot of things in my days in professional wrestling, but this is the first time I have ever heard of a stunt double. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, stunt double, pinch hitter, back up. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess Haas Haygood is going to. Uh, well, he I, doesn't care who he beats up. Yeah. Let's be clear about that. He'll beat up Niles Young. He'll beat up Ashton Amherst. It doesn't matter to him. He just wants to go home with that DCW heavyweight title. I agree, but you prepare for one man. You do all this training, preparing in the gym, film study, and then when you get here, you're getting a completely different one. And you're absolutely right, and I'm sure that's part of the plan here of Ashton Amherst and Niles Young. And, and, and well, now he's going to crack his back. That, that, was, that was nice, but he... Uh, legitimately starved the pro wrestlers versus zombies movie I, Ash right. Amherst. And you know I've I've seen it uh, and this is not just it's not somebody with their video camera in their neighbor's backyard film, and, uh, filming a movie. And and well Ashton just said the belt was coming home with him I thought he was going to come over. I apologize. I, I mean I it, it's it's a national movie it's playing in theaters. It, it's it's I can't believe I'm saying this when it comes to the first family of filth, but it's 110% legitimate. And it stars Hacksaw Jim Duggan, right. uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, yeah. I believe Matt Hardy, Shane Douglas. So, And I would say none more proud of themselves than Ashton Amherst. Well, uh, that was before the movie. That is true. But Ashton stated when you're, when you're promoting a movie, you can't, I mean... He knew he had this title match. It, right. it wasn't a question of of if or when. He knew it's on his calendar. Haas Haygood, very impressive right now. Niles Young. Uh, so would, I mean, who would be, Ashton stated that we would be the heavyweight champion, but you can only have one man be the heavyweight champion. So does it go to Niles Young? Does it go to Ashton? Do, I, I guess it depends on how long he's his stunt double for. Well, I, that's I, true. I don't, I don't really know how to answer that. Well, Haas Haygood is going to want to be uh, yelling cut here if uh, now Young. Oh, oh my God! Uh, well, that might be a wrap. That that was just boot to the head, to the face. Yeah, that's an easy one to call. And if you're the first family of filth, let's let's review here. We know that the tag titles aren't with the first family of filth. The first family of filth uh, TV champion, a man who... Now, wait a minute. Let's talk about this. We have a TV champion in right. Niles Young. Exactly right. Would he be a dual title holder? Do we have to... We need to, we need to speak with the... Well, for the, for the time being, he is. Right now, in this moment in time, he is. That's true, but... Now, how, how they managed to pass that contract 
through the offices? I don't know. But right now, Mao Zhang is the TV champion. He could be the heavyweight champion. We are going to have to contact our legal uh, department of Huxtable and Huxtable and see if, uh, uh, if we can get a ruling. I is that, uh, now is that to Rudy or to Teal? Yes. Okay. And well, Camille. And Camille. Don't forget to Camille into pudding. But uh, Haas Haygood going to knock the pudding out of Niles Young. And, and, and you'd stated it earlier perfectly. Haas Haygood wants the heavyweight title, and he wants to fight. Right. He'll, he'll fight Niles Young. He'll fight Ashton. He'll might fight, fight both. Yeah, he'll fight the <laughs> referee. Might come out here and start fighting you well, and I. I'm I mean, a, I got a wrench here. I don't know how good that'll do. but I, I have a bottle of water. Heavy, heavy elbow drops going for that cover. And Ashton Amherst a bit concerned on the outside. I mean, Haas definitely the powerhouse here. And uh, a tough, tough man. Tough, tough man. And he's going to need it if he's going to take on essentially both. Both men here. So... And you can hear him screaming, country strong for country strong Haas Haygood. That's right, nothing nothing fancy about Haas Haygood, and I say that in a good way. And, well, we've, what we've had this? a request. You know what? I changed my mind. I think I'll get in this match. What? Wait a minute. How do we – can we allow that? I mean – well, he's tagged himself. How does in. that? I, I mean, I guess he's doing his own stunts now. Well, I know that some movie stars will do their own stunts. I, I, I am so confused right now, BC. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I don't want to say that. Uh, wait, wait, a not what? Is he in or is he out of this match? Or are they, are I mean, well, is this a handicap match now? I, I, ju I just received word in my earpiece here from the, the contract that Ashton had put together apparently was signed by Haas Haygood. I don't know if this was included, but did state that it was put together by Ashton and, Amherst. And, and another tag, I guess. So it's a two-on-one handicap match now. I mean, I love Haas Haygood, but sometimes you need to read what you sign, I guess. Well, I guess so. I, let's just say it. It's not fair at all. I mean, life isn't fair, but this is. And, and honestly, BC, this isn't the first time that we've seen members of the first family of filth take advantage of a handicap two-on-one situation. We saw that not too long ago with Kimberly and Sassy Stephanie against Heidi Lovelace for the Women's Championship. That is true. Where they took advantage of two of them being in the match against another opposing competitor. And we're pretty much seeing that situation repeated here. And Haas Haygood hits a body block of his own against Niall Zhang. And, and in that women's title match, we did see a little bit of dissension with Kimberly and Sassy Steph. I, right. Because it's a team, I mean, that was technically a three-way dance. This, well, it is two-on-one, and I don't know if, I mean, one can't pin the other. We know that much, but. Well, we don't know that much because well, actually, we don't know that, point. that contract is ridiculous. I need to talk to Ashton's attorney or agent or. Looking for that clothesline, but he misses it. And both wrestlers hit their own clothesline and both down. And you know, let's not, sh let's not. Uh, and what's this? Lumberjack LaRue coming to ringside. Oh! And let's not sell Ashton short. I mean, well, wait a minute. Well, what, what are we doing here now? You know what we're having? This is a little bit of revenge for the Battle Royal we saw a couple weeks ago. And well, when you're a lumberjack, sometimes you just got to, and well, they're and Ash, well, looking for the stun double, and he's not there. Well, Ashton's going to have to do his own stunts, and he needs to turn around. Big boot catches him up. He could be going for that big Alabama slam. 
Oh! And that is it. We have a new Ladies champion. and gentlemen, here is your winner and the new Dark Horse Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Hoss Haygood! And BC, Hoss Haygood prevailing against all odds, gets the assist from his friend Lumberjack LaRue. The Lumberjack getting a little measure of revenge for being ousted from that Opportunity Battle Royal. And well, we have a new DCW Heavyweight Champion and, and what a show, what a night. Absolutely. And we want to remind everybody while our new champion celebrates, check us out, darkhorsewrestling.com. Check us out on Facebook. <coughs> give us a like, give us a follow on the Twitter machine. For BC Steel, for David Powers, for everybody in the DCW locker room, and for our new DCW Heavyweight Champion, Haas Haygood, my name is Darren the Dish Davenport, and we will see you at ringside.